be careful whenever you date a white person. Because of that white person, whenever they date you, they destroy your seed. This village was created in 1974 by an elder. His name is Kredo Motua, who was born in 1921 on the 21st of July and is still alive. He is a historian, playwright, architect, painter, sculptor and a traditional healer. We black South Africans, we call him Isanusi, which means the chosen one. He created this village for us, the people of Soweto, so that we can be in touch with our traditions since we live the modern life. Kralomota as a shaman is the chosen one. He has done powerful predictions that we experience in this earth. Just to mention a few, in 1963 he wrote a letter in a poetic form that spoke about the assassination of one of the greatest leaders in this world. He sent the letter to the late former president of America, Jeff Kennedy. When he received the letter five days down the line, he was assassinated. In 1975, December, he made a prediction about the Black Power the uprising that happened in Soweto on the June 6, 1976, that made the children of Soweto to come and burn this village. In 1979, he made a prediction about the Twin Tower bombing that happened in America, HIV and AIDS and other predictions. You will be able to see the Twin Tower bombing prediction and learn about the importance of a woman in this world. This site is to show how Africans used to bury people before the modern way. On that sculpture that is down there, as an African child, when you respect the elders, living a positive life, protecting the nature, when you die, you become a great ancestor. You will be honored by seated up straight, face the east and be wrapped with a cow skin. Why face the east? Because the sun rises from the east. And why they use the cow skin? Because in Africa we say a cow gives birth to a human being. It is a transport to the ancestors. So they will wrap you with that. And... Uh, uh, at the same time, uh, they people with that people with it. Reason being, in Africa we said we don't say the person die. We say it is the boy that goes to the soil. The spirit stays around so that whenever there is a new child in the family, your spirit can jump into the child and you've been replaced spiritually. That's our African reincarnation. When they bury a woman, an African woman, on the left hand hand they put a peach seed, on the right hand hand they put a bean seed. That is why the Zulus, they like uponches. That is the real, real thing that as an African man, you got to eat, that's our meat. Uh, and they bury the woman with her so that when she arrives on the side of the ancestors, her duty is to feed the nation. And that is when they finish closing the grave. When you do evil things, you become a bad person who does evil. When you die or be killed, your body will be thrown up and down into the grave. They won't close the grave so that the vultures and the dogs can eat the flesh. Why the culprits are buried like that? Because they are evil. They cannot reincarnate the God to go with the evilness. Then the Western came. They changed the African way of burying people. We started to bury like this. We never forgot you know, where we came from. People of the stones. We came with the Western. That is why we are the people of the sun. Children of the sun. And then when the Western came, they, they introduced this way and now we are in the modern life we are into the granite tombstones in the granite tombstones you find the cross the name the same name the year you born passed on in africa we place the color bash to pour african beer to connect with the spirits we all write r.i.p which stands for rest in peace we say return if possible remember we are the people of reincarnation it is the boy that goes back to the soil to its mother your spirit as an african child stays along we africans we don't die we passed on. All the races, for an example, let me say we the Nubians, children of the sun, people of the sun, we passed on. The Caucasians are the ones who are dying, the race is dying. Be careful whenever you date a white person. Because of that white person, whenever they date you, they destroy your seed. There's no white woman can come on white man and say, I love you and marry you, thinking that wow well, things are good. There is something that they saw that they will benefit to you. If, the, if after absorbing what they want to energy and everything, they will let you go like that. So, which means that you don't agree with a white person married with a black person? I love my race. I'm a racist. I love my race. A race being a racist is not the wrong thing. It's that, that I've got a pride with my race. I'm jealous with my race. So you don't have to destroy my race. You don't have to destroy my seed. 
And what is the your DNA? Opinion? Remember, I spoke about. Remember when I said the African woman is the only one that has the Eve's gene that can give birth to all the races. That is why they want to destroy the seed and cannot be destroyed. You wanted to say something, I guess. Yeah, I wanted to ask about that. Uh, okay. That is the prediction of HIV and AIDS, the virus that is affecting us all in this world, that the elders saw in 1979. In America and Europe, they started to know about the virus. That was in 1983. We in South Africa, it was in 1985, stroke 86, when they introduced the virus as a virus. In 1989, stroke 90, that is when it was given the name and said AIDS. In the vision of the elder, there were these characters. This, that's one of the greatest African uh, alien medicine men who was advising the African king to stop being greedy and allow the men of the continent to marry and date, the reason being there's going to be unincurable and deadly diseases that are coming in this earth. And when they come, they will infect this family. His family will affect the whole continent. As a stubborn and a greedy king, he ended up marrying 7,500 wives. Some of them doesn't remember them. Remember, especially as a married couple, as a married person, whenever nature calls, you got to respond positively. So once you're married by the king, you become a queen and your life is being protected by the warriors. Each and every little movement that you do, it has been protected. So Kredemota said there's going to be visitors who are coming all, all the way from Europe, coming with the boats. In the boats there will be big drums, in those drums there are medicines that are going to be thrown into Africa. So when these people came into Africa, they, these aliens, they could come in a human figure. When they come, they will mate with our queens and leave the virus behind. It happens that they came, they mated with the queen in a white man's skin, because if it's a white man's virus, it doesn't belong to us Africans. So it happens that when they mated with the queen, they left the virus behind. When the king comes wanting to get the information, he mated with the queen. Unfortunately, he caught the virus. Then the medicine man tells the king that the virus that he's having, it is beyond his powers. That's the virus that's going to swap the world by its storm. In the next coming years, the people of this earth will be infected and affected by these diseases. But African continent, it is the one that's going to be infected and affected. The reason being America and Europe will be using Africa as a dumping area. Yes, there will be a medicine, but the medicine won't kill the deadly virus, it will tame the viruses. The only time you can get the medicine, that is when traditional doctors and modern doctors can come together and work in the laboratory. Today they are working together. Hence we've got the ARVs that doesn't kill the virus, they tame the virus. The king was killed by the deadly virus. In the middle, we find the penis of the king. It is to show all sexual transmitted infections or diseases that cause HIV and AIDS. The legs of the coneflower, the drop, you can speak about them, you cannot finish. If you look at the penis, if you look at it, some virus, they turn themselves into a human face. When you combine that human face, it's not a human face. It is a symbol that we are using it to campaign for HIV and AIDS as the logo, which is the red ribbon. Patients of HIV and AIDS, when the CD4 comes drops, all it's happening, they lose the body. They become skinny and weak and the head stays big, just like the king Area Kwakaya and Daba, which means home of the story. This is where African, African stories are told. One of the greatest teachings that we find as African children, especially as the Soviet children, it is how our elders used to pray before Moffat, Livingston, and other missionaries who came into Africa to introduce the Western Christianity, carrying the Bible and the gun. Africa is the motherland, as the land of the ancestors. Our people never ever believed that Adam was the first man to live in this earth. Those teachings that Adam was the first came with the missionaries when they changed African beliefs, whereas our Africans would be mad that the woman was the first. Why they believed in the mother? Because a woman is the only person in this earth that experienced a sin line between life and death. She stays nine months being pregnant. When she gives birth, it's either she will survive or she will die. That is why the world refers Africa as the motherland, because Africa, when it gave birth to the world, it felt a terrible pain. Africans, when they pray, they never said in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. 
we start first by in the womb of a mother, of an African mother, the mother lend herself. We introduce the mother into the prayer. We say, in the name of the mother, the father, not the son, but the child. The father has four different faces. That face in the four cardinal points of the earth. They represent the four rays, which is the blacks, the whites, the yellow, and the red. The four cardinal points of the earth. The colors are the mixed spirits of the four races. That is why we find a human skull. It is to show that we can fight and break upon our races. But once we remove the skins, we are the same. In this world, there is only one race, which is a human race. We are the first people to live in this world. We gave birth to all the race. On top of his head, you find the birds. In Africa, there were birds that used to talk. We used to call them the Kaula birds, the chicken birds. Those were the birds that were used by the elders, whereby whenever they wanted to send messages to other villages, they would send the chicken birds and play the drums. The two animals on the chest, they show the strength, the intelligence, the beauty and the power of the nature itself. And next to him, it is God the child, the one the Christians are calling it Angel Gabriele, the son of God, or Jesus Christ, the son of God. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. That says, God doesn't have a woman. That says God doesn't produce a woman. When are you going to speak about history? Everything history speaks about it, the power of a man. What about history? Because behind of that successful man, there's always a woman behind there. When you remove that man, who stays behind? So when are we, why don't we speak about history? We always speak about history. Hence in Africa won't say the sun. Because of once you say the sun, you separated the two. We say the child or the traveler. Why the traveler? Because as a human being, when you were born, you were never born alone. You were born with a gift of a child inside of you. The one that's going to love you unconditionally, protect you, shake in every second, every moment with you. Remember any human being in this earth, be it your boyfriend, be it your girlfriend, be it your children, be it your family. As long as a human being, a human being has the ability and the power to betray and destroy you, not the child inside of you. The mother is carrying a spear, the first weapon which was given to an African man to protect the motherland. Hence in Sesotho we say, Me utwara hali. The mother is the one that holds the sharpness of the knife to protect her family. Typical example, I'm a hooligan. In the street, when I come here, there comes the everybody runs. Then when the commissioners, no, 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 he's enough about me and say, for check, one year. Then they start running after me. If I go to my house, if my father is there, it's easier for the community to kill me. But if my mom is there, what? Whoa! You start here first. That's my son. But the father says, hey, come, 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 fight. Hey, 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 hey. You did your shit, you go and send for your shit. So that says the mother did what? Holds the sharpness of the knife. The four eyes, one to the third one is on the chest, and the fourth is on the left leg. With the eyes, it is for her to look and take care of her nature, since she's the one who gave birth to the nature. That is why in the families, the mothers are the ones who are taking care of the children. The mothers are the ones who teach the children how to talk, how to walk, how to respect, and be responsible. Our responsibility as the father is to give the children identity so that they can know where they're coming from. Where they go, they got to go positively and strong. The four breasts, one to the third one is on that chakra, and the four is sucked by the little lamb. That is where we suck divine love, integrity, humanity, and good life itself. In this village, we say, whenever a child is born, it doesn't have the brain. For it to have the brain, by its mother. That is why behind a powerful president and a powerful king, we find a powerful breast of a strong, powerful woman. Behind a strong, powerful family, we find the breast of a mother. In Africa, we say the garden of love grows into the grandmother's heart. Two boys sitting on top of her lap. If you look at them, you could tell that they're fighting. Omunyu Kombo Munyopsin, Uvigeri Salad, fighting over a stupidness. We find a positive teaching. Those boys, they fight over a penis. Come closer. This one, he's got a big penis. 
be littering and laughing to someone with a small penis. He wants to react violently. The message and the teaching that we get here is, as people, we should stop fighting over small things. We always focus on the negative than on the positive. Today, we worship and praise the mother of this world and forget about the importance of a human being. That material brings hatred, jealousy amongst us. That is why her name is Unole Tando, which means love. She says, guys, come on, let's stop all the hatred. Let's stop fighting over small things. Let's stop jealousy. Let's come together, embrace each other, and make this earth a better, powerful place. Remember, African children, money is not wealth to us. Material doesn't mean wealth to us. Material gain. A big family, it's a wealth to us. In the name of the mother, the father, not the son, but the child. Remember your body is just a vessel, a container that protects the inner humble child inside of you. We call this room the Mother Nature Room. Raising being, this is the room where all traditional women that talk to the elder will come together and share their tribal experiences. One of the greatest things that came out of this room was the Twin Tower Bone prediction that happened in America on the 11th of September 2001 and he made it in a painting form. Those are the original Twin Towers. That's an aircraft approaching the Twin Towers. The sun, it's in the dawn, it's in the morning, it says the time. He said wherever and whenever it's going to happen, it's going to happen in the morning. When America was attacked, it was in the morning. These Batman cars, they were introduced to us, the South Africans, for the first time in 2001, the year America was attacked as a racing cars. We saw these cars running away from America, which is the Lamborghini, Ferraris, Subarus, and Austin Martins. The Americans, they call this bridge the DS Roosevelt Drive Bridge. It's a circle of life that says what goes around must come around. The dark cloud says when days are dark, friends are few. After the 11th and the 11th, people were scared to go to America. To show that we are speaking about America, originally an American flag, the documents, example, the passport and the currency, we find the hawk. The calabash represents African continent. While the birds came the calabash, it is because America was and is still controlling Africa even today. The red paint is the blood, the water says over the seas of Africa, and the skull represents the men who attack the Americans. Osama bin Laden of the reality we used to wear black robe like that. In 2012, the Americans questioned the former President Barack Obama's office and said, Mr. President, you said you killed Bin Laden. Can you see the body is the proof? His answer was his body was buried where? Into the water. Look where the skull. That's a signature. The Karamota 1979. In 1979, when America was fighting with Afghanistan, Osama Bin Laden was working for CIA. He is the product. Believe it or not. That will be the mother nature. The earth mother, the first woman to even give back to the nature. It's a teaching and a reminder that you get from our elders. They wanted to remind us, all the men of the world, that only African women are so strong and powerful in this earth. As the people of the world, we need to respect, honor, and protect African women because of those are the only people who possess powerful energy that we, the people of the world, don't possess. Yes, we are arrogant. We don't accept that they are powerful. If African women can be given the chance to lead the earth, we like it or not, there will be no hunger, no starvation, or unnecessary wars. That is why in Sesotho we say, Musadi It says the way the women are so powerful, the way they've got cards, African women they can be able to assist and a female lion when it's pregnant to give birth at the same time they can tame any dangerous creature in this world. That is why she's sitting on top of the male dangerous hungry lion, taming it to show the strength and the power only African women possess in this world. The greatest wise men of Africa would say, behind a successful African man. There must be a strong, powerful African woman who brings peace, stability, balance, and happiness in the life of an African man. The white man saw the code and said, wow, what a great code. Let's remove everything and say, behind a successful man, there is a strong woman. It's an African code.